Hi. <laughs> uh, we are back, and guess what we're talking about? The most wonderful thing in the world. Water. H2O. H2O. We're talking water. Another pretty important part of the process when making beer. I'm, I'm almost 100% positive you're not just pulling from a tap. You're not just unhooking the fire hydrant and dumping all the water in and going, all right, let's make some beer. Yeah, no, so that would be bad. That would be, that'd be <laughs> hardcore. That's yeah. that'd be pretty hardcore, <laughs> man, yeah. Um, so we previously talked about a few different things. Now water is the biggest Point, part of this thing that we call beer. Oh, the water wasn't boiling. No. Point, right? It's just warm. Yeah, we really hold really it warm. at 150 degrees. Right? Okay. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty hot. But yeah. It's not boiling. Uh, right. Okay. Not something I want to swim in either. No. Yeah. Usually in big cities, especially in Milwaukee, like, we're very fortunate to have a, a great water source. Uh, fresh water from Lake Michigan. Yeah, Lake you know? Michigan. It's gigantic. And all the rivers that come here, so like, we, we live on a big fresh water source. And if you think about the history of humanity, we got to that history. Yes. Yes. Some of the most famous brewing regions in the world uh, are next to water sources. Water sources. Yeah. Yeah. That happened. Uh, so in Germany, it was the you know the, the mountain and the streams from the mountains. Right. Uh, that's why it's Germany. It's one of the reasons we can afford to make like some great beers if they have like, water sources, fresh, fresh river water from you know area. Uh, in England, you know, they were next to lots of aquifers, uh, since it's surrounded by the ocean. And that oh, includes the type of beers they make, too. Sure. So they have really hard outline uh, water air. And as a result, they should make things like beers and stouts because those types of beers are inherent to beers the water that's really hard outline. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Even in the United States, if you think about the big green regions, the water is one of them. Your fresh water source. Sure are. St. Louis, Missouri is another one because it's off the Mississippi it's, River. Yeah, and absolutely. Then Denver because it's in the Rocky Mountain right now, or water that right. comes from yeah. too. So, your water source is probably the most important. Okay. Uh, typically, uh, beer is an acidic product. Uh, so, if you look for a pH between 5.2 and 5.6, uh, okay. when we're matching. Uh, the good news is that barley provides a lot of that acidity naturally. Yep. Uh, so as soon as we add barley to the water, it usually brings that pH down close to that level. Okay. Uh, but water, we have a fairly outworn water base, and so what we have to do is we add an acid, phosphoric acid, uh, to make up the rest of that acidity. Okay. Uh, it's like 100 milliliters, you know, 100 gallons, you know, so it's a tiny, it's tiny pretty amount. small. It's okay. a small amount, uh, but it's just enough to kind of tip the scales uh, to get pH into the film that we needed to taste right Got it. Uh, for the mashing process to go well and things like that. Okay. We'll also have minerals. So we've got here, we've got gypsum and we've got calcium chloride. Uh, these are both sources of calcium. Uh, calcium is an important nutrient for yeast. Uh, so we talked last episode about that yeast. Uh, yeast need calcium to grow and need uh, calcium to produce all this stuff. So Got it. we supplement the water with a little bit of calcium. They are happy. Okay. Um, the other benefit too is that calcium chloride is chloride in it, and gypsum also known as calcium sulfate. That's okay. sulfate. Uh, chloride and sulfate are what we call flavor ions. Okay. Oftentimes it's a balance, so we you know, try to get our chloride and uh, sulfate content, content to be a, a nice balance. And you're constantly checking. We pH balances and all these things. We plug it in for our water profile. Okay, you know, cool. so we know what Milwaukee water is pretty consistently. We add usually a pre fixed amount of two grams of these two. Um, okay. And then the acid. You know, we, we test the pH. Okay. We test the pH every time. You know, yep. so every time we're brewing, we test the pH of the water to get a sense of that. Uh, but uh, yeah, once you get that wire check, you'll find that one year process gets much more efficient because sure. all the chemical fermentation. Yeah. All this is biological product um, to make biology happy, then you make just better beer. In some parts of the world, the water is so terrible in the source water. Sure, like they sure. They kind of like build their own water. Okay. So what they'll do is they'll basically, they'll use reverse osmosis mm -hmm. or distilled water. And that's right. basically stripping the water down and build all that's in there. And then they'll come in here with their bags of minerals Got and it. acid and they'll do the bidding on it. Okay. Since Milwaukee is starting to be good, you know, we have to do just a little piece. Yeah. Some people literally start from scratch, I think. But, uh, you know, 
brewers are clever. So throughout the history of humanity, here we go, talk about history. Uh, throughout the history of humanity, we've been very clever at how to adapt to our water source yeah. and make beers that we want. Um, so I had mentioned like the UK earlier and Ireland. It turns out that their beer is so optimal that like, normal pale beer is big beer. But when they added roasted barley, it's like I guess no. Yeah. And that roasted barley is very high in acid. So that acid helps balance out the alkalinity, and that's why this really stops the water. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. And they're so good too. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just I went way off the first one now. They're so good. Um, okay. Any? What are we? What else are we missing here? Uh, we've we've got we've got our perfectly pH balanced water, Lake Michigan water. That that maybe this is a good question. Where do you get it? What's that? Where do you get the water source? Yeah, it comes from the wall. I mean, it comes from the wall. It, 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 the pipes from the city. Yeah. I mean, we do some tweaks after we've got obviously yeah, with this stuff. Yeah, but you know, it, once going into our hot liquor tank, which is basically the first vessel that water touches, we've done. It's raw water, it's raw chem water. That's so cool. Well, we're fortunate here. We're fortunate to be walking We do have that. We do have that water. Um, are there any other factors that would play in to your water? We might have to take Milwaukee off, off the table on this one. Any yeah. other factors that play into the water that make it uh, a more interesting flavor? Like maybe, maybe we should talk Denver, Rockies, the, the spring water is coming down. I'm assuming people are out there so, that stuff up and using it. We didn't talk about salt, so highly mineralized water sometimes, it's like the mountain brown, something yeah. like that. They can have more minerals in it. But um, salt, yeah, sort of like when you're baking, a little bit of salt can enhance the perceived sweetness. Okay. Um, and beer. Um, so, certain recipes, you'll even see people, um, homebrewers advocate like adding a little bit of baking soda or just a little bit of table salt. Interesting. Um, okay. All of those things will have the sodium content and, um, and just, yeah, you yeah, can try to enhance the sweetness. Right. Yeah, so it's a good way of it's a good way to be made. Okay. Would there ever be a time that when we use salt water to create the ocean? No. It feels like it's way yeah, too much of a process. Too much right? salt. It's, it's a little bit salt. Uh, I don't think yeast would you like in they would be able to know. Oh, sure. Yeah, Sally's leaf and okay. uh, terrible, buffering, and sure. Yeah, it'd be good. That'd be a whole thing. Yeah. Okay. Salt water off the table. But they do do uh, oyster stuff. You know oyster stuff? I don't know oyster yeah. stuff. So, it's a lot of great detail. Oyster stuff. Some things. It's about salt water. Okay. <laughs> Instead of adding baking soda or, or table salt, like yeah. you're talking about, there is a version of stuff when you add oysters. Since oysters have a lot of brine in them, oh, wow. yeah, they provide some of that salt that we talked about. Okay, so this feels like something Maine is doing. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you yeah. get a version of the East Coast. I'm Coast. sure you can get versions of oyster shop anywhere on the, on the, you know, the shores. All right, so, that's your homework. Yeah, find us an it's oyster shop. It doesn't taste like it. <laughs> then boil all that out. Right? <laughs> I'm glad to. Can you imagine, like, whoa, oh, oh, that's an oyster. Oh, I'm getting great notes Good of oyster. Good God, what is that? Yeah. yeah. I'm hitting all the oyster <laughs> notes. Um, okay, all right, that does it for water. Making it good for beer. Take care of your water. Take care of your water, people. All right, we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.